Welcome to another installment of the Tim Woolley Show, starring our mayor, Tim Woolley. Good to see you, Mayor. Good to see you, buddy. Hey, uh, it's been a little while since we've had yeah, you over here. Yeah, it's probably been, what, uh, a couple months? Yeah, maybe exactly. So. Now, yeah. of course, in between, you did the Downriver, the Destination yes. Downriver podcast, mm -hmm. so they, they they got you yeah, on there and yeah. put you on the spot. But, uh, but we've got a lot of catching up to do. Sure. Okay, some fun stuff, some hard stuff. Uh, why don't we start with Armed Forces Day celebration, uh, I know they had to move it in to the, to yeah. the chambers this yeah. year uh, and the Memorial Day weekend. For you, I know, a little bit of a special spot. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, the uh, Veterans Museum did another great job on our mm -hmm. Armed Forces Remembrance mm -hmm. Day. Uh, we did have to move it indoors because of the weather. Right. Of course, basically, as soon as it finished, the sun came out, you know, and everything. But, uh, you know, Charlie and, and the crew over there did an outstanding mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. um, always a special day. Right. You mm -hmm. know, um, Got to see Holly's mom and right. family again. Right. You know, that's uh, Paula's a great Paula woman. Paula is a, is a um, And the sacrifice act. that mm. her daughter gave, and mm. she, you know, is just, it's really, uh, you know, tough to see, but, you mm. know, she's, uh, she recognizes and supports her daughter, you know, right. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, she realizes what she gave for our country, and right. uh, so that's always special to see her as well. Paula is a great, great human being. Mm -hmm. um, and everything went really nice. Right. You know, we had right. some good guest speakers mm -hmm. there and right. stuff, and uh, um, that went really well. Uh, Memorial Day weekend was uh, mm -hmm. definitely, you know, I, I always try, a lot of people get confused on the different holidays, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and what they signify. So, you know, Memorial Day, as everybody I'm sure knows, is mm -hmm. basically to remember those that gave their lives for our country, right. you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I, I take that to heart. I, mm -hmm. I you know, mm -hmm. I. I do it every day, right. you know, and that's mm -hmm. what I try to encourage people to do. But, you know, especially on a day that specifically honors them, mm -hmm. you know, and, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, that's always, I, you know, I went to the VFW. They had a nice mm -hmm. ceremony yes. on mm -hmm. Memorial Day, and wow. which was really nice, uh, you know, and I always, uh, I, I try to get to that pretty much every year. You know, I never asked you this in the previous shows when we were on this subject. Mm -hmm. Did you lose any close friends? No, I'm very fortunate. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, right. that is mm -hmm. one thing that mm -hmm. I... I'm very glad that right. we didn't, a mm -hmm. uh, couple close calls, okay. you know, in, mm -hmm. in my experience, but sure. mm -hmm. uh, luckily we didn't lose anybody, you know, and, right. uh, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful for that mm -hmm. because I often wonder what it would have been like, you right. know, especially my team. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty tough situation, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. especially closer you are. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You, know. you, know. uh, you were part of the first Taylor Unified Special Olympics Day that the schools uh, that the schools threw, mm -hmm. tons of children throughout the community were were participants and mm -hmm. were there. It was really something to see. What what was your impression? I had a blast. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed it. I, I can't thank uh, the school for throwing mm -hmm. you know putting that on. Mm -hmm. uh, Rhonda Denage, the president of the school board, reached right. out to me. Mm -hmm. uh, Griff, the superintendent, asked me if I'd be a part of it mm -hmm. and absolutely jumped on board wow. from the get-go. Uh, the thing I really, really enjoyed seeing was our police and fire out there oh, yeah. assisting and mm -hmm. helping and mm -hmm. seeing the kids respond to that. Mm -hmm. You know, I think our fire department was on the volleyball uh -huh. and um, I can't think, uh, mm -hmm. our police officers were on the, like the, the, the running track, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. and, yeah, and yeah, some exactly. of them were joining in and, <laughs> and uh, a couple of them were running back and forth. I'm like, guys, it's pretty warm. Yeah. Sure a lot of uh, water in you, you know, and mm -hmm. stuff. But it was a great day. Mm -hmm. I think that is really, really going to gain mm -hmm. momentum over the right. years. Um, you know, they reached out to Brenda Zakari right. mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. she was a huge help. She does so much for, oh, yeah. you know, Joe Bright and Ark right. and right. Uh, she's a great lady too. Yeah, you know, is. anybody she that is. knows Brenda knows mm -hmm. it's all about her kids. Her yeah. love, I think she calls them her love bugs, you right, know, exactly. and stuff. And, exactly. Uh, so yeah, that was definitely a, a great day. I really enjoyed that. It was, you know, it was so unique because I know the schools took this by the horns and they, and they, uh, and, and they really kind of invigorated it and mm -hmm. created it. But when you went there, it was the whole community. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah, businesses multiples. sponsoring yeah, and bringing in mm -hmm. food. And and uh, th there was a ton of people from the city yeah, there involved. Yeah, and, and, and I, I was really, really happy with that. And just mm -hmm. to see all the buses of the kids as oh, well. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I mm -hmm. think they really enjoyed themselves. Mm -hmm. I got to sit and talk with a few of them, right. and they mm -hmm. were really having a lot of fun. And some of them were really, really good at what they, uh, what, what what they, they were participating mm -hmm. in, you know. Well, next year, 
we're going to switch spots because I'm going to take the speech and you can read off every name <laughs> of the candidates. Yeah, that was quite a long list. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did feel kind of bad for you there because you just kept flipping pages flipping and stuff, pages. you know. But uh, oh, wow. yeah, that was uh, that was a great day. Yeah, that yeah. was a great day for Taylor. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. without Absolutely. doubt. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Another great day. It was more like a great night. Was when you and a few other flunkies took to the softball oh, field yeah, yeah. against Brenda's uh, Downriver yeah. Arc. Special Olympic yep. softball team. Yeah, the, the Stingrays mm -hmm. that yeah. are going to uh, the Special Olympics down in uh, Florida mm -hmm. to play softball. Yeah, um, Taylor North, uh, Eric uh, Hall mm -hmm. kind of threw, mm -hmm. threw it out there at a meeting one time. So, uh, you know, I was a little hesitant. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not the young athlete that I used to be, <laughs> nor am I in playing shape by any means. None of us and, are. <laughs> uh, so we were able to get quite a few people, uh, you know, Chairman Doug Guy, State mm -hmm. Rep Alex Garza, um, I'm trying to think, you know, Cindy was there in support, mm -hmm. uh, Chief of Staff Dan Bazura, DPW right. uh, uh, Ralph, and just so many other, uh, but it was so much fun, yeah. you know, and, uh -huh. and the good thing is I just took a couple Tylenol after the game and I felt <laughs> fine the next day, you know. <laughs> Nobody got hurt, everybody mm -hmm. had a great time, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of jawing back and forth uh -huh. and stuff, but they, they got the best of us. They, they mm -hmm. ended up beating us and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're a pretty good team, you know, but well. it was a lot of fun. Hey, it was that's a lot of ribbon. Everybody. You know, Hats off to everybody yeah. who, who, who oh, was, it was there. Yeah, that was, it was tremendous. It was the coaching staff, and uh, they really, uh, I think everybody really had a great time. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, they talked a lot of smack to us, you know, but they mm -hmm. backed it up, you know. But it was funny because, you know, we kind of ripped on each other on our own team, you know, because yeah. we're all yeah. older now. And, <laughs> you know, throwing a big softball, you know, mm -hmm. when you haven't done it in a while, you know, your arm starts to hurt a little bit. But. Mm -hmm. Uh, nobody was injured, you know, and uh, everybody good. had a great time. It was really fun, and, and I wouldn't mind doing that on an annual basis. You now, know? Did, you, did you do the, I know, headed into the game, mm -hmm. you said it was going to be second base for an inning, and then you're going to get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> you know, I, I will say I didn't, you know, there was, I, I did play, I think, you know, I, and then there was like an inning I would take off. Like, okay. you know, there was a few of us that was switching out. Right. I think Dan went out to second base one inning. Mm -hmm. He played outfield one inning, and, uh, you know, so we were kind of, all switching around as needed. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, there there was, you know, at second base, uh, one one guy hit a pretty hard shot, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not stepping in front of that. <laughs> <laughs> he got a base hit on that one because I didn't want to, you know, smash my the shin. If I, yeah, you know, it's like, yep, that one, I'm not making the move. But, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. we, we all had so much fun, and uh -huh. then there was a lot of, you know, it might, you know, the good old days right. where you, you know, have fun and mm -hmm. talk a little smack to your team and the other sure. team and everything. But great time, man. And, mm -hmm. and, and they got a well-deserved win. Well, without a doubt, Brenda Zakari, just such a tremendous oh, individual yeah, uh, between the banquets mm -hmm. and all of the things. Yeah. She just stays on mm -hmm. it. And I always enjoy those. I, I you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm there. If I, the only reason if I'm not there, it's just because I absolutely can't make it, right. you know, but I, I've always enjoyed that great time, mm -hmm. um, you know, the banquets and anything I can do to support uh, her kids, sure. you know, it's, sure. it's always a great cause and she works her, she works her tail off at yeah. it, you know, Without she, she yeah. clearly loves it, you know, Scott was, uh, mm -hmm. her son was part of it mm -hmm. and, you know, he's, he's moved on to his baking career, which oh, I yeah. tend to enjoy some <laughs> of that as well, you know, and, uh, but uh, she's still uh, right there with those kids, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, mm -hmm. it's great to see and it's always a great time. You need somebody like that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, changing gears, mm -hmm. annual budget. Mm -hmm. approved by city council at the end very end of april yep uh highlights seem to be the unassigned fund balance and the care act that you you guys have a lot of money that is unassigned yet yeah although a lot of restrictions on that money. yeah yeah uh and then low lights it is hard to hire these days across the board mm -hmm. and i guess especially in some of the first responder areas. So yeah. what, what were your impressions of the whole? Well, issue? I mean, we, we finally mm -hmm. came to an agreement. It, mm -hmm. it did take a little bit of, sure. uh, you know, mm -hmm. discussion. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we, we got that all settled. Mm -hmm. As far as ARPA funds, it, it's really tough right now, Carl, because we're not the only ones with ARPA funds. Right. So you have mm -hmm. the county and you have other organizations mm -hmm. that also have ARPA funds, right. and they want us to put in for that money. So. Gotcha we put it in with this group and this group and we're waiting to hear back because if right. we don't we can use our money for that right. so right. of mm -hmm. course mm -hmm. we would rather use their money as opposed right. to our money sure. you know and mm -hmm. uh so that's part of the delaying process mm -hmm. uh, we are currently um when we did get the arpa funds mm -hmm. we basically sent out a wish list to all the department heads sure. uh, they sent in what they'd like to see what they need and all this mm -hmm. other stuff mm -hmm. 
some people really took advantage of the wish list, uh, you know. <laughs> so we're kind of going through and mm -hmm. and, and we, we pretty much have that mm -hmm. narrowed down, mm -hmm. you know, a little more fine tuning. Um, and we want to take basically like a, the budget to council for right. approval because right. uh, they do have to approve it. Right. But we're also kind of in limbo because mm -hmm. we're waiting on other entities to mm -hmm. approve our projects or sure. not. And, sure. and that could save us a lot of money, you know. What was it like switching sides of the table here? Well, I'll tell you Although what. Although technically, I guess you're all on the same side. Yeah, you but know. well, uh, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. going from council, you know, we right. go through our mm -hmm. uh, budget meetings and yeah, stuff. Right. Now, mm -hmm. being the mayor, mm -hmm. I, you know, <laughs> me, uh, Dan Bazura, and Jason mm -hmm. Couture, literally probably two or three weeks. Right. 10 to 12 hours a day, oh, literally yeah. going through. I, I, I can tell you, I think we were all tired of seeing each other. And uh, I can understand yeah, that because you guys forward, were together yeah, It was, uh, yeah. you know, I got down mm -hmm. into the budget that I've never mm -hmm. been in, you know, and right. stuff. And, mm -hmm. and luckily I had two phenomenal people in mm -hmm. the room with me the entire time, mm -hmm. both financial backgrounds. Right. And, uh, you know, and every now and then I would, you know, hey, what about, you know, <laughs> look at this guy, you know. So, um, you know, it, it was definitely a process and I think we, have a realistic budget, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and that's what we presented. Uh, you know, there was a few disagreements on mm -hmm. things, but we sure. worked that out. But that's always going to happen, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And, and we yeah. move, and, and we're moving forward. And uh, July first is mm -hmm. our, uh, but um, we're trying to in that budget. We did, we were able to create some new mm -hmm. positions, you know, mm -hmm. as far as getting more uh, help down in our DPW. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to try to get these positions filled, ready to roll by July first. Right, um, right. You know, mm -hmm. because. We're in kind of in a situation where we'd love to have them now, but you know the budget doesn't click, kick in until July first. You know, you. and that mm -hmm. extra crew would definitely help with like grass cutting sure, and stuff like sure, that. Sure. You know, the uh, uh, when when you look at the the, the entirety of the police mm -hmm. situation across mm -hmm. basically across the state across America, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, it concerns. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bidding war. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, it is. and, and mm -hmm. it's really tough because. You know, you have contracts, yeah. and anytime you want to change something or try something new, you got to kind of go back and, sure. you know, Horse negotiate, trade. so to speak. You know, <laughs> yeah. and you uh -huh. know, MOUs, mm -hmm. um, you know, memorandums of understanding sure. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But everybody needs them. Right. So municipalities are mm -hmm. adding more mm -hmm. uh, options out there, and and some officers are leaving one city to go to another sure. because it's mm -hmm. a better package, you right. know, and mm -hmm. uh, so we're we're in those talks trying to get that squared away. Mm -hmm. um, we realize that we do got to make a few adjustments to mm -hmm. get people um, uh, to want to come here. Right, right. You feel and stay here. You feel confident about that? I do. Yeah, okay. I do. All you know, right. we, we still mm -hmm. We're still negotiating sure. a little bit, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, you know, me and Dan are working with uh, Chief Blair mm -hmm. and you know, discussing with the unions, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a process, you know. But well, um, the good thing is, you have yeah. you have good people, you know. I you, agree. Yeah. At first, you mentioned Jason and, and Dan, then you mm -hmm. mentioned Dan and John Blair. Uh, mm -hmm. These are all top-notch people. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they're uh, gonna work John, it. Chief John Blair mm -hmm. is phenomenal. Uh, Chief mm -hmm. Portis is phenomenal. Yes, we all have exactly. a very good relationship mm -hmm. and. You know, we, we discuss many different things. They definitely keep me updated on things, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, but, you know, I, I, it's their department. So sure. I want to get mm -hmm. with them to see what, how we can help them and right. stuff. And then, mm -hmm. you know, we also, you know, specifically talk to the unions as right. well. So, right. um, but yeah, we're in, we're still kind of in that process and mm -hmm. hopefully we come to an agreement here pretty soon mm -hmm. to where we can start really making it a good opportunity to get officers to want to come to the city of Taylor. And that's what it's all about. Absolutely. Uh, wanted to bring this up with you. Uh, mm -hmm. You recently took a family vacation. Some residents out there on social media were wondering what goes on in City Hall when the boss is away. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Walk us through it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I did go on a family mm -hmm. vacation mm -hmm. and uh, there was some concerns out there. So um, when I was going on this trip, mm -hmm. You know, the first thing I did is uh, reach out to Chairman Doug Geis. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the mayor pro tem. Right. So basically, when I'm not here, mm -hmm. um, Doug is basically, he's the mayor. Yeah. Um, when our charter was created, that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. um, so things have changed kind of since then as far as, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. cell phones, computers, sure. and everything. So. Oh. I was available 24-7, right. you know, I had my cell phone with me, I checked my emails daily, mm -hmm. um, you know, my family knew, hey, I still got responsibilities sure. here, sure. but uh, mm -hmm. uh, Chairman Geist did a phenomenal job, you know, mm -hmm. he, he, he would come in and anything that required a signature, right. um, that's what he would do. Right. Um, my Chief of Staff, Dan Bazura, mm -hmm. 
phenomenal job, doing a mm -hmm. great job. Mm -hmm. um, he basically runs the day to day, you right. know, and uh, um, he was aware, everybody, all my directors were aware mm -hmm. that I was leaving um, and all my directors did a great job while I was gone. So, mm -hmm. you know, th there's systems, sure. you know, in, in place, you right. know, it's right. not like when I leave, we close the door. Right. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I appreciate Doug for, uh, you know, at a moment's need, mm -hmm. would come in if, it, if needed, you know, or something. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if, uh, if we had to, we could get it to him, right. you know, and mm -hmm. so we had all, Everything covered, so right. to speak. Yeah. With Chairman Geis, that's more of a signatory issue. Yeah, right? in that situation, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, there right. there was things that I can, I approve uh, electronically, right? You know, right. which I do. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And but anything that you know, we have you know payroll adjustments, we have warrants, we have things and stuff mm -hmm. that require a physical signature. Gotcha. So mm -hmm. um, anytime there was one of those, you know, mm -hmm. I get quite a few of those a mm -hmm. day. You know, mm -hmm. kind of comes in spurts. You right. know, so. Right. Um, you know, one of the assistants would reach out to Doug and mm -hmm. say, hey, you know, just mm -hmm. so you know, we have two here or whatever. And, right. and he would either come in on his lunch mm -hmm. and, and hit it or if, if, if needed, you know, mm -hmm. if it was a priority, um, Doug lives very close him. by, yeah. you know, we got it to him, you right. know. So um, mm -hmm. we definitely had everything covered and I really appreciate him, you mm -hmm. know, being able to come and, on a drop of a hat, you sure, know, and sure. take care of everything. But mm -hmm. yeah, the city, uh, you know, whether mm -hmm. I'm in, in the town or not, mm -hmm. you know, the city is, it still runs and, and luckily I got good people, mm -hmm. you know, my directors, you know, mm -hmm. we didn't, you know, a little bit of an issue started while I was mm -hmm. gone, but mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, we're still working on that a little bit, you know, the things always yeah. happen. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You this know, is, so this a, if this was a private corporation, mm -hmm. I mean, you're really talking about a big company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, this people is, forget that. <laughs> you know, a lot of people ask me, Carl, you mm -hmm. know, like, you know, how do you like it? Yeah. I like mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I do. I, I uh -huh. enjoy coming to work. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm helping, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and that's my goal mm -hmm. um, each day to come in here and work hard and, and try to make the city a better place. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, there's always going to be those people that disagree with me, you yeah. know, which is uh -huh. I understand. But um, it's a 24 seven gig. Sure. You yeah. know, literally with cell phones and social media, mm -hmm. you know, you know, I, mm -hmm. luckily my kids are older right. and my wife has this, you know, work schedule to where mm -hmm. I'm here a good portion of the evening, oh, you yeah. know, and, mm -hmm. and even when you go home, you know, you're, you still have cell phones oh. and social media people will, you know, but I try to get back with them as soon as possible. Well, that's what know? I've always contended when, when people have brought this issue of, well, how hard is it to be mayor? How hard is it to be a council person? How hard is it to be a clerk? Mm -hmm. The bottom line is there's only a few of those people, okay? Mm -hmm. And they're, once they're elected, mm -hmm. when you leave the building and you go home or you go to a grocery store or you go wherever you go, you're still the mayor. Absolutely. Doug Geis is still the chair. Mm -hmm. Joe Brandan is still a councilwoman. Mm -hmm. And yada, 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 yep. right down the line to Cindy mm -hmm. and everybody else. Yeah. You don't run away from those positions until you're done. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You absolutely. Know. Yeah. You know. And it's part mm -hmm. of the gig. You know, I mean, I, mm -hmm. I knew that going mm -hmm. in, you mm -hmm. know, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but luckily, uh, you know, the good thing is when you like your job, yeah. you don't feel like you're, you know, yeah. like yeah. a lot of times I'll look at my watch and go, wow, I, man, I got to go home and eat dinner, you know, or something, you know, and, but, mm -hmm. you know, it, it can be busy days. Some sure. days are very, very busy and very long, right. um, mm -hmm. but, you know, that, that's part of it. And, and I enjoy it. Right. You know, my goal is, you know, to keep Taylor moving in an upward direction, you know, and, and that's the whole process. And, and some days, you know, some some weekends you're booked pretty solid too, you sure, know. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow, my Saturday mm -hmm. is pretty booked. And, you know, I know I can't make everything, right. but if mm -hmm. I can, I, I'll, I'll be there, right. you know. Right, and, exactly. and I know we so touched base last night. Yeah, yeah you, I, and I yeah. didn't even know about that. Yeah, I'm glad yeah, you did. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, exactly. you know, for some mm -hmm. reason, nobody reached out, right, you know, right. this year. And, well, you know, it's, it's uh, funny. But I'm happy to be there because my mom went through mm -hmm. that battle. Well, I'll be honest with you. And we're, and we're talking about uh, uh, Relay, Relay for Life, for life yeah. okay, uh, which the mayor will be sp speaking at tomorrow. Uh, but it, it is coming out of the pandemic. Yeah. It's for people who have had their, their thumb on every event, mm -hmm. it's like, well, is that happening here? Is it happening there? Is it right. happening at all? Mm -hmm. Is it virtual? Yeah. Is it a combo? It's difficult to, yeah. you know. It, there's still that, mm -hmm. you know, walking in. Yeah, there's a little know, bit of a haze. It's kind of everything's refiring back up and everybody's right. a little still, mm -hmm. you know, how we're doing it or whatever. Yeah. So, right. but uh, no, I'm, I'm glad to be there and I'm glad they did reach out because otherwise I, I would have not have known. The, uh, the trip yeah. for vacation, that's a little special, wasn't it? 
It was, yeah. It was, uh, yeah. I, I don't mm -hmm. mind. Uh, you know, me and my wife celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which uh, nowadays that's a pretty big feat, you that know, in the world, feat. you know. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, we'll both admit it hasn't been easy. It's uh, you know definitely a, always a working in mm -hmm. a work in progress. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I booked this trip a year and a half ago. Right. So mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people jumped on the fact. Uh, you know me, Carl. I oh, don't. Yeah, I don't live I the high know. life. Right. You know, I and, hear you. and my wife has always wanted to go to Hawaii. Right. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, she's put up with me for thirty years. Mm -hmm. The least I can do is take her to Hawaii. Right. You know. So right. I booked this trip mm -hmm. about a year and a half ago right. uh, when mm -hmm. I found out we were getting the mm -hmm. the government money for sure. COVID and sure. all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. So that that was, you know, it made it a little more because Hawaii is pretty expensive. Oh. You know, well, and. Um, but so I booked it, you know, and I had to tell her actually before our anniversary because I didn't want her to spend the money, <laughs> you know, like, hey, we're going to use that money. And, and so, um, you know, we talked about it and we wanted to take our kids with us, sure. you know, mm -hmm. and, and they're older now, but they're getting at that age where we don't mm -hmm. see them hardly right. that often and everything. And uh, we had a great trip. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a great trip. You know, you know me, mm -hmm. you know, when my, I think oh, my yeah. first staff meeting, ah. what did I tell everybody? Oh, hey, without a doubt. You know, use your vacation. Mm -hmm. right. They're, they're so, you right. know, to me, they've always been healthy therapy for right. me. You know, right. it, it mm -hmm. definitely, it's nice to unplug and uncharge mm -hmm. your batteries sure. and everything. Um, so, you know, I booked that trip in early, would have been 2021. Mm -hmm. And, um, and we went in May mm -hmm. and it had an absolutely great time. Hawaii is a beautiful mm -hmm. island. Mm -hmm. uh, there was some things that I didn't expect and then there was other things that just um, mind-blowing, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, snorkeling was by far yeah, you mentioned me and my wife uh, and my kids favorite yeah. thing. I mean mm -hmm. to I literally felt like I was in an aquarium somewhere, like oh. the Chicago Aquarium. <laughs> you know, the fish and the colors mm -hmm. and just unbelievable. And, you know, my son taps me and, mm -hmm. and I have a sea turtle swimming from, you know, 10 feet away from me. It, it was a smaller one, which was about this big. And then, you know, by our hotel, there was giant ones swimming out in front mm -hmm. of our, you know, mm -hmm. our balcony mm -hmm. and stuff. So it was a once in a lifetime trip, sure. um, you know, but I'm, I'm glad we did it. And uh, Hawaii is a beautiful place, mm. very beautiful. And uh, we, we really enjoyed it and, also and I'm glad we did it. For you, timing wise, you know, your kids aren't young anymore. Right. Okay, yeah. so they're not automatically yeah. going, but they're, this is about the time when you're either gonna do it or you're well, not. Well, that was them, the thing, you know, you know, so luckily it was planned out long right. enough to where, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted to push it out a little bit because there was still COVID, you know, sure. at that time to get into Hawaii, you sure. had a sure. test and oh, mass, yeah. everything mm -hmm. was luckily about, two to three weeks beforehand, mm -hmm. they dropped everything, you know, to where you didn't have to show that you're vaccinated. Mm -hmm. sure. You didn't have to wear a mask and right. you didn't have to test prior to going, you know, mm -hmm. two days or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and we did coordinate with the, you know, I, I call them the kids, but my yeah. son's 27, my daughter's <laughs> gonna be 22 in a week, you know? So it was a great opportunity mm -hmm. to kind of just go, cause mm -hmm. you know, really we haven't taken mm -hmm. You know, our honeymoon in 91 was uh, yeah. Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Right, right. And mm -hmm. I mean, other than that, it's usually the UP for me and my yeah, family, yeah. you know, in August or so. But um, we did Disney in 2008, mm -hmm. I think it was. Right. The kids were younger. That was a sure. phenomenal trip. Sure. But this was the first big trip we have ever right. done. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to me, it's all about experiences in right. life. Until the day I die, I, oh. I got so many great memories from mm -hmm. this trip. And, mm -hmm. you know, just to be able to spend so much time with your kids and mm. family and, mm -hmm. and you know and, w and we saw all the saw everything there and mm -hmm. it, w it was incredible absolutely incredible you and i were talking about this being a veteran mm -hmm. at pearl harbor had to be a special special experience pearl harbor was much more emotional than i expected mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. i didn't realize you had to take a boat over to the viewing yeah, um, yeah. of the mm -hmm. arizona yeah. uh, which my wife did that right. um mm -hmm. prior to us going which was good because okay. You know, there were so many people there that, you know, there was like a will call line where mm -hmm. people didn't even get a chance to go over and gotcha. stuff. So mm -hmm. um, she booked that, you know, a few months before we went. But uh, definitely the way I describe it is, Carl, you see all the footage, mm -hmm. you know, on TV or you read about it in books mm -hmm. and see it on the computer and mm -hmm. stuff. But when you're there, yeah, you know, you just see that 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 ship still yeah. under the water. You see the, the mm -hmm. oil bubbling up. Right. And, and one thing my kids didn't know that there was people still down there that right. went down there with the, with the sinking, you know, that never stayed. came back up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think the one part that really hit me was is when you're at the viewing uh, area 
and then you walk towards the back and that's where the wall is the list mm -hmm. and that's where I explained to my kids that you know there was mm -hmm. and, and they weren't they didn't really know that right. but I think the part that really got to me where I had uh, mm -hmm. kind of maybe mm -hmm. choked choked up a little bit yeah. was there's a area that you walk through to get to the wall mm -hmm. and it, it, it lists all the names and they ask that usually only family members go there if they want to touch the name sure. or if they want to mm -hmm. um, but then there's like a half wall that you walk through mm -hmm. and there was names on there mm -hmm. and I noticed the dates were much later than Pearl Harbor yeah. and uh, I talked to uh, the uh, ranger that was there and uh, you know I, I you know these names are a little and he mm -hmm. says, well, over there it says what it was. And these were people that died after, oh. you know, like in the 70s, 80s, sure. and 90s. Mm -hmm. But they wanted to be buried back down with their shipmates. Wow. And like I said, it gives me goosebumps, man, yeah. if, if that doesn't hit you home. Because mm -hmm. the veterans, you know, I, I know veterans that mm -hmm. lost mm -hmm. their friends. And they struggle with the fact that they survived. Sure. sure. You know, I, I mm -hmm. struggled with, right. you know, we were mm -hmm. in a... a where I was stationed, we were attached to, mm -hmm. you know, I was attached to division scouts. So mm -hmm. they didn't take all of us. So there was a couple guys that didn't go mm -hmm. with us and it haunted them, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. they weren't with us right. and they were terrified something was going to happen to us. It's right. just, that's the bond. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. to see that they wanted to be back down there with their shipmates, mm -hmm. man, that, that just, woof. Yeah. That gets me every time. Wow. Gets me every time. Amazing. You know, Amazing trip. I, exactly. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Once in a lifetime. I don't know how I don't know how I'm gonna segue from that <laughs> to curbside <laughs> service. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking of what uh, what what kind of started to pop up while yeah, I there was you gone. Go. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So where are we where are we at with uh, our our famous uh, compost delays yeah. and uh, things like that. Well it, it's kinda hard, Carl, and, and, and I apologize to everyone. I, I haven't put much out there you know either via oh, yeah. you or mm -hmm. myself because it seems to constantly be changing right. and I don't like mm -hmm. to put something out there and say oh yeah it's going to be and I did that once and I got burned yeah. you know so mm -hmm. you know some days I'm being told we're all going to be caught up today mm -hmm. and then you know hey we didn't get to everything and mm -hmm. so it's they're still a little behind mm -hmm. um it seems like compost had been a day, you know, at, at one point it was getting three days roughly. Mm -hmm. Some people were getting missed mm -hmm. altogether. Mm -hmm. So um, Priority did have a COVID outbreak mm -hmm. and, and that's what really put them behind the eight ball. They, right. uh, that got them running real long. But the one thing I will commend them for is they could have easily said, you know what, we're not just gonna get it until next week. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they kept right. pace trying to get caught up mm -hmm. and, and it just kept running longer and longer. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, and we're struggling with this as a city, you know, mm -hmm. the grass is just growing, oh, yeah. you know, this yeah. weather that we've been having, yeah. the, the beautiful 85 degree days, right. and then, mm -hmm. you know, sunny, and then we get two or three days of rain, the grass is oh, just yeah. growing mm -hmm. like crazy, you know, mm -hmm. not that it doesn't happen every year, but mm -hmm. I can tell you, by the way, our compost uh, yard is pretty full right now that it's mm -hmm. definitely been mm -hmm. uh, more than normal. Right. And, uh, mm -hmm. but um, as of right now, they were a day behind, you know, because of the holiday. Sure. Um, but it seems like they're they're just about there. Gotcha. But I'm cautious <laughs> about yeah. saying that I hear as, you. I hear as you. well. So you know, we're we're staying in contact with them, with them, and we know. And and there's things like we're we're meeting next week gotcha. to sit down and have a discussion. Well, all you can yeah. do is work out. Yeah, work absolutely. You know, you know, it just doesn't, you know, just because yeah. something gets botched, it, you just can't snap your fingers. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't, you know, I mean, I do have a CDL, but I, you know, um, but I don't, <laughs> you know, I'm, I can't get in the trucks and everything. And, right. uh, but mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to, we're going to really sit down and mm -hmm. have a good conversation next week and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, have See some, have some discussions, yeah. you know, because I'll be mm -hmm. the first one, you know, I'm. Mm -hmm. You know, the rumors out there, you know, that my stuff gets picked up and all that. My stuff has been sitting out in front of my, you know, right. two, three oh, yeah. days. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't put compost out every week. Right. So if somebody mm -hmm. said, oh, well, the mayor's, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, people will do that. You know, if somebody made the comment that my dad mm -hmm. was the only one to get picked up on the street, you know, where my dad doesn't put compost out. Yeah. He has a, a, a lawn service, right. you know. So right. Right. it's just kind of funny. But I don't get any special treatment mm -hmm. at all. And mm -hmm. I would believe me if I did, and I found out about it, that right. would be halted immediately. Right, right. I hear you. you. Know? I hear you. Speaking of neighborhood services, a lot of lot of construction going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got good to great in in its uh, in its initial area mm -hmm. of this cycle, which is Ecorse, Pelham, Wick, Monroe. Yeah. those areas. 
Uh, next up likely will be Wick, Pelham, Goddard, Monroe, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're heading south, I believe. Uh, plus we have scheduled work along Eureka. We've got stuff going on on Goddard mm -hmm. uh, and Pardee, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah. Uh, what's your take on all of this? I mean, there's construction going on everywhere. Yeah, in the yeah well, there's area. a lot of funds out there, yes. you know, um, mm -hmm. but, you know, we, 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 we voted to do Goddard and Pardee, mm -hmm. was it? Two years ago, yeah, I think, and it started it last year. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe they're scheduled to finish in the fall. Gotcha. Um, Eureka, we're still doing the Eureka, Eureka way, right. you know, mm -hmm. um, and but there's permit, you know, that's mm -hmm. that's what's really slowing that project done. Mm -hmm. You know, they're they're working on that sign. Um, as far as um, we're still looking to do Beach Daily. Mm -hmm. You know, we were waiting mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. what the final tally is going to be on. Um, because we did bond that out and right. it came out. So mm -hmm. um, we want to do Beach Daily between Wick Road heading north to Van Born. Which is needed. Yeah, which, yeah. well, we yeah. went all the way up to there. Right, and we right. Kind of yeah, stopped, stopped, which I didn't, yeah. you know, and I'm like, well, why don't we just mm. finish that before we start this? But that's, a, you know, <laughs> that's another, <laughs> that was another, you know. Um, but uh, mm -hmm. so that that's a goal to get there too. Right. But with mm -hmm. all everything going on right now, mm -hmm. we don't want to, Party and Beach Daily are two of the main, you know, right. thoroughfares right. other than Telegraph that, sure. you know, so um, luckily there's nothing major going on Telegraph yeah. right yeah. now other than in the, the north end. Well, I was going to say yeah, Durban Heights that's, that's, Yeah, that, that is, is. Uh, definitely, you know, I, I talked with Mayor Bozzi yesterday mm -hmm. and he was explaining that it's just a nightmare. You know, luckily it just basically north, but the way they bottleneck right. it right there at the expressway makes right. it tough for everyone. So. Right. Um, I think, they, I think they came a little further south just to make that transition a little yeah, easier. Yeah, you know, it's funny how that works because I was thinking about that because that's the way I go home a lot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it only makes sense that you hone the lanes down yeah. in an extended fashion. Yeah. But the problem is when you extend it south from Van Bourne, you run right into that freeway intersection. Yeah. Yeah. And then you go, well, whoa. Because yeah. there were times when I pull up and there were cars in the intersection. Yeah, they were trying you know, to all merge. It, it oh, was just, yeah, it was yeah. definitely not a, it, it didn't make much sense to me, no, but that no. was, that's an MDOT project, you know. But on the other hand, yeah. the, the work in Dearborn Heights, they are, they're, yeah. they're working yeah. constantly. Yeah, I mean, they're, yeah, really they're putting that giant hard. water pipe through there to help with the flooding and everything. Yeah, I was going to ask you, there was a, there was a lot of uh, concern uh, on your part mm -hmm. uh, and others about making, uh, along with this party improvement, making some improvements up by the old Taylor Central mm -hmm. fields. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you got when you went out there? What did you see? And and well, they're going what, all what the way options? past. Uh, I'm trying to think of that last street it's there, Beverly, but I Beverly. Think. Okay, yeah. yeah, they're going all the way up past. Right. Uh, they're going north of Ecorse. Right. Down that stretch to Beverly Road. Gotcha. Um, mm -hmm. There's some. Uh, we have a lot of water that pools up there. Mm -hmm. So this gives us an opportunity to kind of really look at that, mm -hmm. go through, you know, and make sure that the drainings, drainage is happening because right at the Little League, mm -hmm. that water tends to pool up there. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, so, you know, our engineer was able to get over there, Chris Gibbs, mm -hmm. and look at it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, we, we believe we're gonna be able to correct that mm -hmm. along with the road improvement as well. I know a lot of people are gonna ask the, the, the obvious next question is, what can you do about parking up there, Mayor? Yeah, that's one of the things we kind of looked at because, uh, you know, our, our DPW director is still, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. involved with the district and, and Little right. League over there and mm -hmm. stuff. So, you know, Central has a tough parking situation anyway. So right. the last I had heard um, Doug Clutier, or the president mm -hmm. over at the Central campus, right. is trying to, he was reaching out to the, uh, the people that used to own that nursery right yeah. there to kind of, okay. because once they get into there, but... Mm -hmm. We're hoping Little League is pretty much winding down in July and right. stuff, so we believe they're going to get in there sometime in the fall. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to create an issue. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they do a fall ball league, right. so we're kind of we kind of ask them to hey try to maybe move some more games over to the East mm -hmm. Campus and the West Campus. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, we're still kind of working out those logistics or whatever, and mm -hmm. kind of waiting to see if we can get more parking over at that um, mm -hmm. that nursery, the old nursery. You know what else is tough is that Taylor North's own success yeah. kind of kicks them in the rear end yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Especially when you talk about fall because they're one of the few groups that are so active in mm -hmm. the fall. Mm -hmm. And that means they bring in, you know, everybody's looking at Taylor North and saying, well, why don't I go right. play there? Well, Carl, you I know. can tell you, mm -hmm. uh, Big Lanny, Big mm -hmm. Lanny Hall Sr., yeah. um, when mm -hmm. I was at Taylor Northwest, mm -hmm. he came up with the concept for fall ball. Right. Mm -hmm. And it was a brilliant idea yeah. because not yeah. 
as many kids play football anymore right. or high. Sure. So mm -hmm. literally the first year we did fall ball. We had more kids <laughs> sign up for fall baseball than summer baseball, no you know, and it was it, it was a more scaled down version where you just got a shirt, you sure. know, and stuff. Sure. You bought your own pants and everything. Sure. It was a cheaper cost. Right. But we, you know, we had to put limits because <sighs> the teams and divisions and mm -hmm. now, because people could register a whole team. Right. You know, and uh, mm -hmm. it allowed travel teams like, hey, if you want to come bring your travel team, you can sure. do that and sure. stuff. Phenomenal idea. Mm -hmm. And then it got to the point where it was getting, you know, mm -hmm. and then Doug uh, over at mm -hmm. Central Campus sure. mm -hmm. decided he wanted to take it on. Right. Um, I was on West Board at that time, and I was perfectly happy with that, <laughs> you know, because it was a big commitment. But I coached Little League football right. at the yeah. time, so mm -hmm. a lot of times I couldn't get over there and stuff. But, right. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a great idea, and, and fall baseball has really taken off, you right. know. I mean, it's right. it's kind of – it's not as competitive. It's more right. of a, mm -hmm. you know, just a mm – -hmm. I, I always enjoyed it. And then I always took the kids that mm -hmm. didn't – come in as a team so yeah. I had kids from all different cities oh. on my team so I got to meet all these different kids and we had a blast because it yeah. was it was I always made fall ball more about fun yeah you know mm -hmm. and you know right. we always play to win but you know let's right. have some fun too well it's nice because I think the uh, the, the, the weather the the edge mm -hmm. comes off the weather mm -hmm. of the fall yeah uh, you've been playing for a long period of time mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it's almost like icing on the Yeah, cake, it gives you, you a know? break, too. You yeah, know, I yeah. think usually Little League starts winding down, especially mm -hmm. like All-Stars and stuff. But mm -hmm. it usually kicked in in August. So, you know, there was roughly a few weeks or, right. you know, a month break there. And right. then kids were excited to get out and play ball again, right. you know. So. Well, I'll tell you, if Doug Cloutier thinks he's going to get off uh, off easy, I don't think so. Because uh, I think Gavin and those boys are just going to continue to oh, keep yeah. them in the news. Yeah, and, definitely, uh, definitely. You know, yeah, so uh, that, that, you know. That, it, you know you know, again, that is such an amazing feat. You know, oh, a lot of people, yeah. I, I, mm. winning the Little League World Series it's is like, unbelievable. You know, oh, I yeah. still have to remind myself that Taylor won that. You yeah, know, it's, yeah. you know, mm. it's like I, I can't, it doesn't compute. Right. You know, it's, uh, right. but I, I'm still very proud of those. And the good thing is, is they represent our city so well. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're yeah. so humble. Yeah. And they're mm -hmm. great. I mean, they have fans. Right. And, and I watch them interact mm -hmm. with these people that mm -hmm. come, you know, people mm -hmm. come up and ask them for their autographs right. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's always special to see that. Well, it's, it's neat because kids of that age, you know, they're, they're hardly mature, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and for them to take on the responsibility that comes with something yeah. like that title, mm -hmm. you know, you've got a lot of kids that are half their age mm -hmm. looking at them like they're pro players. And quite frankly, they handle that pretty I agree. good. I agree. I, I, yeah. I'm amazed every time yeah. I see it because yeah. I see them boys quite a bit mm -hmm. and, and I see the attention that they get right. and they handled it great, you know, and, and I, well, I love I, it. You I know? think that goes back. I, I've met a lot of those parents. Mm -hmm. They're class acts. Yeah. And uh, quite frankly, it doesn't get any better than Thorrington yeah, and, yeah. and Thorrington, his coaching yeah. crew. The coaching you know. staff is better. I mean, I don't, I don't want to pat Guido yeah. because Guido will, yeah. will be out there kind of grimacing. <laughs> don't mention me. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but those guys are good. Now, yeah, absolutely. You know? yep. uh, let's end on a couple more fun notes here. Mm -hmm. We were at Kudos Tap Room and Fieldhouse, finally mm -hmm. opened. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the old Gander Mountain. What were your impressions? There? I, uh, I thought it was awesome. I mean, we, uh, you know, I walked through there a couple months ago. They right. invited me to kind of mm -hmm. just kind of see the concept and everything, and I was very impressed with that. But uh, the grand opening was a great time. Mm -hmm. You know, we got mm -hmm. to go in there and get a whole tour of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, they mm -hmm. um, they had us doing the axe drawing, which I'm, I'm proud to say I stuck it on the first one. I was going to say you're our designated yeah, axe Yeah, you know, <laughs> so uh, it was funny because the girl's like, you almost seem like you know what you're doing. I said, well, I may be throwing an axe or two in my life, you know, or whatever. And um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I did the football bowling sure, thing. That was sure. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And I was happy I didn't embarrass myself. I did hit mm -hmm. some pins, you know. And uh, But I, I think all of us had a great time. Many mm -hmm. members of council was there, sure, you know, sure. a clerk. And mm -hmm. uh, I think we all really enjoyed it. And right. it and I always describe it as an adult playground. Right. You know, they had the yeah. axe throwing, the mm -hmm. football bowling, the mm -hmm. ping pong, right. uh, bag toss or mm -hmm. cornhole, whichever. Mm -hmm. um, plus they had food there and they had a bar. They kind of had a lounge area and mm -hmm. then they had a little area mm -hmm. for like kids and stuff sure. like that. So mm -hmm. I, I think it's a cool concept. And when you look at it, I mean, with everything that's gone on in a, from a positive standpoint in that Eureka corridor mm -hmm. from Southland to Traders yep. Point to yep. all the restaurants being added, the Cinemark, which a lot of people forget about because, yeah. of, you know, but th that was huge. Uh, we're right on 75. Mm -hmm. So you get the Canada, the Canadian mm -hmm. traffic oh, absolutely. at times. A lot uh, over there. There's, there's a lot of benefit to having a place like that. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I, I think it's mm -hmm. awesome, uh, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, 
I really hope hope they do well, and I think they will. They got yeah. a great you know great staff over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Very well staffed. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Now finally. Let's go on to the Taylor Summer Festival. That's coming up at the end yeah. of the month, the mm -hmm. 23rd through the 26th. We'll have rockers Stephen Piercy, the voice of Rat, along with Slaughter on, the, uh, on June the 24th, and then country heartthrob Dylan Scott uh, with the Family Tradition Band and the Cody Boggs Band on Fireworks Night, which is the 25th. What are you looking forward to most? Well, you know me, I'm the rocker. You know, <laughs> I, I, I saw Stephen Piercy and Rat back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I did see Slaughter open up for uh, Poison back in the 90s, uh -huh. actually just before we went over to Desert Storm. Yeah, it was yeah. a great concert. Mm -hmm. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that's a lot of people, ask, you know, that's why I don't hear well that much because I did a lot of <laughs> concerts in the 80s as a young, you know, and, uh, but I'm, you know, I, I'm not the biggest country music fan. Right. I do, uh, mm -hmm. I know a lot of the artists. Yeah. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. my wife and daughter are, are like right. country music a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, uh, I reached out to somebody because Dylan Scott played here mm -hmm. about six months ago. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, one of my Facebook friends posted mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. um, really enjoyed the show mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I kind of sent her a message and right. I may have said, hey, you might want to pay attention to our next announcement or something like that, you know, and, <laughs> and asked her what she thought of the show and right. everything like mm -hmm. that. And she just ranted and raved about how good he was in concert right. and stuff that he right. put on one phenomenal show. Right. And uh, the ticket sales are going really well for oh, yeah, actually very, both. But very uh, good, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Dylan Scott definitely seems to be mm -hmm. leading the race mm -hmm. so far. Right. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, friends that I bring, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're aware of them, but I, you know, you kind of said heartthrob. It seems like a lot of my female friends uh -huh. really, uh, like to look at him. <laughs> oh, I, I, I think you're, you know, I, I think, I think Sarah's going to be headed in that direction yeah, in the yeah, front row yeah, somewhere along me, the way. But, uh, uh. <laughs> you know, he has in his rider, no, you know, Dylan has no meet and greet, uh, <laughs> you know, so. Uh, so you're not going so to be able to help everybody out reaches out to me and wants to meet him, uh, he has it in his rider that he does not partake in meet and greets. So. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, we, we're going to look forward to, to, to that whole show that Taylor yeah, Summer Festival. Yeah, 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 it's my first yeah. one is, you know, mm, in this position sure. and so. So I'm, I'm looking forward to learning more about how mm -hmm. everything, um, you know, um, I can't think of her name. She oh, does a that? great job. Oh, Julie. It's, Julie, yeah. yeah Julie yeah, Law. Julie Law okay. does a phenomenal job on doing everything, the promotions right. and everything. So, um, you know, we talk, you know, pretty mm -hmm. much every other day and stuff mm -hmm. and kind of seeing how ticket sales are going right. and ticket sales mm -hmm. are going really well. Mm -hmm. But now that we're in June, yeah. people will start s hearing the commercials on radio, right. seeing the billboards mm -hmm. and stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it's going to be a great show. We just mm -hmm. always, you know, hope for good weather. But yeah, the good the thing is, is being, a, being under a pavilion, that makes it a little easier, right. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so, but yeah, we definitely. Um, it is amazing, forward. you know, the Sheridan Center was not redone as a concert pavilion but it turns out to that, be one of the that, better that ones that was the first thing that i had said you know i, mm -hmm. I wasn't necessarily behind the idea mm -hmm. uh, mayor lamoran came yeah, up with the concept sure. and mm -hmm. i was like well but I, I think it was a great call to right. be honest with you i mm -hmm. think it's uh and it is unbelievable mm -hmm. how well concerts right. sound in there yes it is really, really acoustic really sound good. you know uh, mm -hmm. yeah it's been fantastic mm -hmm. uh, okay last let me put you on the spot here sure. we didn't talk about that this beforehand any shout outs you want to give uh, any particular employee groups or maybe other organizations that you'd like to give a pat on the back? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I think right now I would have to give it to our customer assistance center. Okay. Uh, Brenda right. and mm -hmm. all the staff in mm -hmm. there, you know, because mm -hmm. of the recent situation, right. mm -hmm. um, those phones have been going and, and we apologize for the, the delay. Mm -hmm. um, our eye care is down, right. which has increased mm -hmm. right. um, the phone calls. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a process now where you can go on and, and fill right. out, uh, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's not the, the eye center. Yeah, the yeah. form center. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but, uh, you know, definitely our customer mm -hmm. assistance, uh, you know, and I will even go up into, um, because of the situation we had with our internet situation, mm -hmm. water bills got placed behind and, uh, you know, somebody recently recognized her at our staff meeting, but mm -hmm. Sue Lyle mm -hmm. uh, definitely had to jump in there and, mm -hmm get you know physical you know do everything sure. and had to put put out quite a few water bills right. and uh so she definitely stepped up in a situation mm -hmm. but um yeah i, I I'd, I'd have to give the shout out right mm -hmm. now to our customer assistance center and then sue up in budget and finance oh, for uh 
you know, definitely stepping up and, mm -hmm. you know, um, dealing with, you know, mm -hmm. situations that are not always easy to deal with. You exactly. Know, but exactly. Yeah. But well, hey, I'll tell you. Put you on the spot with a lot of things here. Yeah, yeah. We you always put me out. You know, I, I always got to. You, you need to ask. Remind me that you're going to ask that question. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't really. You know, that was the one. I like uh, to save one. No, that yeah, I can that's just, good. You know, yeah, make you yeah, think. You know me. I don't mind. Uh, I hear you. But yeah. I hear you. Well, we'll be doing this again soon, probably. Yeah. Mayor, it's always a pleasure. We hope people watching enjoyed this show as much as we had creating it. For Samantha Rickard and Joe Camilleri behind the scenes, I'm Carl Zymack. We're going to catch you on another episode of the Tim Woolley Show. But don't go away right now because we're going to segue off into some pre-recorded material from Stephen Piercy, the voice of Rat, and then Dylan Scott. Enjoy yourself. Stay healthy out there, Taylor. Oh, 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 oh,